Hello, welcome to today's video. Thank you for clicking. Today we're gonna to be talking about a distribution that I'm sure many of you are actually familiar with because so much data follows this particular distribution. It's called the normal distribution or sometimes people call it that bell-shaped curve, but normal distribution is its formal name. So the normal distribution, a lot of data follows that distribution. And when I say follows, that just means if you were to graph that data, it would have that particular shape to it. So this is an example of data that follows the normal distribution. So following the normal distribution, again, it just means that that particular data looks normal or it has that shape once the histogram is plotted. So here, a couple things I want you to notice about the normal distribution. It has a bell shape. See, this looks like a bell, so we would call this a bell shaped distribution. It is what we call unimodal, and remember that means there's just a single prominent peak. We would call this symmetric because the right and left hand sides are approximately equal to each other. So it's bell shaped, that would be the shape I would describe it. And then the other thing about the normal distribution is that it continues on and on and on and on. Now this particular graph, when I talk about the hours of typical sleep per night, that's not gonna continue on and on and on. But the normal distribution itself has that um, infinity upper and lower bound. So negative infinity for the lower bound, positive infinity for the upper bound. But always data that we say that's normally distributed will have that shape to it, that nice bell-shaped unimodal symmetric curve. So in future videos, we'll be talking about some of the aspects of the normal distribution. So if something does follow the normal distribution, which things like IQ, height, head circumference, all of those follow the normal distribution, what does that mean? What can you do with that? So if data does follow that particular type of distribution, how can you utilize that information? So in future videos, we'll talk about that. See you there.